everyone, it's Carly, and welcome here back to my channel. I love Trader Joe's, and if you've been watching my channel for a few videos or for a while now, you'll know that yeah, I'm just obsessed with Trader Joe's. I love sharing my hauls, what I eat in a day, all of that stuff comes from Trader Joe's, and it's just a place that makes me so happy, and I love talking about it and sharing it with you all. So I thought today I would do something similar, but a little bit different, and show you just like my 10 top things to get at Trader Joe's, because um, I did a like big grocery shop yesterday, and obviously I get like fruits and veggies and all that normal stuff, but there are certain things that I always go to Trader Joe's for because I can't even, contain how much I love it. Um, sometimes this changes a lot, like you'll see some new things that I've added, um, some things that I don't pick up anymore. So it, it always changes because I'm always finding new things and wanting to like, I don't know, make a change in what I'm eating. So I thought that'd be fun today. So if you enjoy these types of videos, grocery hauls, healthy living lifestyle videos, give my channel a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're new, I'd love to have you here. And let's get into Trader Joe's. Okay, so I kind of have a couple of categories um, that these are kind of divided into. So I'll kind of just dig in and hopefully try to keep things in this category. Some things might be open because a girl got to eat and I was starving. But anyway, let's dive in. Decided to do like simple meals because Trader Joe's does have a lot of like frozen and ready to make meals, which is amazing. We don't do a ton of that here in our house, but there are some things that we love to pick up that are just ready for us to pop into the oven or just reheat or something like that. So the first thing is this mandarin orange chicken and I have, I don't even know how many bags I've purchased of this because we love it so much. We're kind of now slowing down our love because I think we hit it hard a little too much in the beginning. Um, but we love this stuff. It's so great. Sebastian does a really great job of like getting it really nice and crispy. Like it's not soggy. It's been soggy before like when I make it, but as long as you like totally thawed out and like crisp it up really nice, it's so amazing. And it's also really good with their like um, ham fried rice or chicken fried rice, it's amazing. So this is a huge staple, it comes with like two packets of sauce, so there's like two servings in there and it's so quick, it's so easy, pair it with like broccoli or something on the side, it makes for like a great weekday meal when you're really busy. So that is probably like our number one favorite thing there. Um, so yeah, I had to include that. This is going along with breakfast. So I have recently picked this up a couple of times and I love it. Again, it's one of those things that if you make it right, it's so good. So this is the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. And so I love to make this on like a weekend breakfast. We take a little bit more time with our weekend breakfasts. So I'll fry this up. And if you're trying to be like really good, I like to grate like some unexpected cheddar cheese. I don't have the package, which is why I'm not showing that, but it is um, a brand of cheddar cheese at Trader Joe's. It's called Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. It's the number one cheese ever. It's so good. So yeah, I will grate that over top of this and it's like so good. We pair it with an egg. I've had it with like avocado toast. It just makes for like a nice warm hash. And so yeah, I like to, again, make sure the potatoes are nice and crispy and just, oh, so good. So yeah, this is like one of our favorites staple in our house for breakfast. The next like easy meal, I kind of did like lunch, dinner, breakfast. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know why I said it that way. So I already opened this because right now I'm about to eat it after I film this video, but this is the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli. So I'll show you what the package looks like so you can keep an eye out for it next time you're there. But I love ravioli. This might not be for everyone. Sebastian likes this. He just doesn't like crave it as much as I do. I pick it up every single time I go because whenever I'm working from home or I have a busy day like today where I don't really have time to make a huge lunch or a big dinner, um, I will just like easily pop this out of the fridge and pop it into a pan and it's ready within minutes. Like it's so fast. Um, so I like to pair it with like a red sauce or an Alfredo or just butter and Parmesan. It's so, so good. So um, yeah, I love to like grate something over the top like cheese and um yeah it's just become like my favorite little go-to they have a bunch of different flavors and stuff a lot of options there but the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato is my favorite so anyway yeah that is like your breakfast lunch and dinner when you're trying to be fast and quick trader joe's has it down for sure moving right along i'm gonna kind of do my liquids and i only have one thing um to show you guys but i have two things to talk about this might be more than 10 
now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, <laughs> um, this is my favorite beverage to get at Trader Joe's. I'm not someone that like picks up a lot of drinks. We just drink a lot of water here and then our matches in the morning, sometimes coffee, but we don't really do things like this. Um, but one day I decided to try it and this is the organic cold brew hibiscus tea and lemonade beverage. And again, something that every single time I go to Trader Joe's, I have to pick one up. I only do one just because it is a really big bottle and again, I don't don't drink a ton of this stuff just because like not for any particular reason I just kind of don't but when I do crave this it's the perfect drink when you're like working through something I'm someone when I'm working I have to like drink something and keep me occupied and sip on something so this just makes it fun and exciting and it tastes so good it's so refreshing I normally don't like hibiscus but with the lemonade it's so good so yeah, that's a huge favorite of mine, something I get every single time I go. And then recently I started to get the tangerine juice, which Sebastian, we're again, we're just like, for some reason, not like juice people. So we drink it, but it's not something that like I have to run out and get every single time I go. But if you're doing like a special breakfast like we did for his birthday or like mimosas, I've heard it's amazing. So check out the tangerine juice, but let's continue on with, um, this is kind of like dips and sauces, which, I could have like 45 of these, but I narrowed it down to like my new favorite three. So the first one here goes along with my little lunch ravioli. And this is the mushroom medley Alfredo sauce. If that dog barks, I'm so anyway, this is the mushroom medley Alfredo sauce. And this is to die for. I love Alfredo sauce. I'm someone that's like, it's one of my favorite sauces. I love it so much, but I'm pretty particular when it comes to like it in the jar. And so, and I'm also like not the biggest mushroom fan, but I do like mushrooms. So I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it, but it's absolutely amazing. I wanna put it on like a homemade pizza, all my spaghetti. I just like don't even look at red sauce anymore because I love this so much. So this is still just my first tub of it, but like I said, with the ravioli, it's so good. I made like a meat pasta thing and I put this on top. We made spaghetti squash. Amazing. So if you like Alfredo sauce and you are like a good fan of mushrooms, I think this is worth trying. Um, Cause it's not too mushroomy, but it's just like something that I never knew I was missing, if that makes sense. So that's my fave. Moving on to like a whole snack situation. This is the everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip and everything but the bagel seasoning is very popular at Trader Joe's. If you don't have it, you need it. Avocado toast amazing but this is perfect because it's like a nice tangy yogurt dip with all of those same flavorings that we love in the seasoning if that makes sense so i love this with pretzels um bell peppers if you want like a nice healthier option cucumbers are amazing with this it's just like everything i've ever wanted and i get it every single time i go and i finish a carton every single week <laughs> so it's probably not the like best it's honestly the ingredients are not terrible um so I don't know, but it's just like, it's the best. So this is probably one of like the more boring snack foods, if I could even say that. But this is just the smooth and creamy classic hummus. And I know it's kind of like boring because they have like a ton of different flavors and really fun um, hummus options. But I have found that this one is my favorite. I've tried like the buffalo one. I've tried spicy, roasted red pepper, whatever. I've tried them all. And for some reason, I always just go back to the plain because once again, you can like drizzle some olive oil. You can put your own seasoning of like paprika or chili powder, or you could do the everything but the bagel seasoning. It's just like so much better just to start with like a nice simple base and then kind of build your snack from there. <laughs> I'm like such a foodie as I'm like talking about this. It's so embarrassing, but yeah. So I always pick up a thing of hummus. Again, it's good with veggies. You guys know the whole gist with hummus, but um, the classic is just my favorite. So let me know what your favorite type of hummus is because I am a plain Jane. Sticking with snacks, because that's like the most exciting thing about Trader Joe's, these are the fig and olive crisps, and I love to eat these with the classic hummus, so good. I love to eat it with the everything but the bagel um, little dip, they're delicious. Like, there's something about the texture, it's a nice crunchy cracker, but then you have a nice like soft chewiness from the fig, it's unreal. So, pick yourselves up one of these they always have it so it's not like a limited thing i should say all of these things are not limited um 
just because like I can't do that to myself. So <laughs> this is a staple. I get it every single week. Um, I kind of stopped getting them a couple months ago, but then I reintroduced my love, and so I'm back on them, but they're my favorite. This is a new snack, but it's actually one of my new favorite things in the whole wide world. This is the world's puffiest white cheddar corn puffs, and I don't know. I don't know why I love this so much, why I wanted to pick it up, but I saw it in someone's haul, and I was like, that could be good for like snacking, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's basically like you guys have probably had something like this before, so it's nothing new, but I just I have to show it because I crave it like last night I was going to bed thinking about eating this. <laughs> so it's my new favorite. Okay, one of our last snack bits This is the roasted and salted Marcona almonds with rosemary now Marcona almonds are like almonds without the little skin and they are so good. They're kind of like a an investment. I don't want to say an investment, but they are a little bit pricey. Obviously, they're nuts and they're a little fancier nuts, but they are so good. And I love rosemary, and this rosemary combination is just like the best thing ever. I've heard amazing, amazing things about these Marcona almonds, and when you try them, you'll love them. So pick some up for yourself. They have some that don't have the rosemary, so if you want to try those, definitely do it. But these are the best. Like, so good. Another new snack that I've tried is the Trader Joe's Soft Strawberry Licorice Twist. And I saw this on my friend Haley's Instagram and then it was like one of those things where you click into an Instagram story and then you can't hear or you don't know what's happening. But I saw that she picked these up so I was like, did she like them, did she hate them? So then I picked them up and I actually love them. I don't love licorice at all. I'm not a big licorice fan. And the reason I think I really like these is because they're a nice mild strawberry flavor so they're nothing too intense or too like potent or just like chemically I don't know it's just like not a weird chemical taste but they're so good and they come just in these little bite-sized pieces so they're perfect again I love to just like chew on things when I'm working or sipping on something so this has kind of been like my new favorite and when you go to the movies you can bring your nice little popcorn and your licorice and it's perfect. <laughs> okay, this is my last little treat for you guys and I saved the best for last because these are the dark chocolate almonds with sea salt and turbinado sugar. And I love these. I fell in love with these earlier last year and like when I look at these, they just remind me of the summertime. I don't know why, but like this is what I equate summer to because they were my favorite snack. And I showed these to people and they either love them or hate them. I know my mom was kind of eh about them. Me and Sebastian love them. And so yeah, these are what they look like. They're just a nice, good little tree and for like ingredient wise they're not bad so they're still not great for you obviously they're chocolate and they're a treat but they're not terrible so it makes you feel a tiny bit better but yeah these are such a fave and i'm so happy this is like another thing that i kind of like go through stages i don't always need a sweet treat so when I'm feeling it or when I'm like needing something, these are my go-to, they're one of my favorites. Okay, this is probably my favorite video to make in the whole wide world. And again, there's so many things that I could add. So if you guys wanna see maybe like a part two or just like a specific category, leave your comments down below. I'd love to share more with you. But this is what I rounded up right now. It's probably more than 10, but I'm just gonna make the title cute, so. There's 10. Um, <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried any of these or if this inspired you to run over to your Trader Joe's and pick these up. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.